This coming Sunday, Lord willing, I'll be doing a topical sermon on the topic of fasting. This sermon is going to coincide with our month-long focus on prayer, especially corporate prayer. So as part of that LVC, what we want to be doing as a church is also thinking about how we can be growing in the area of fasting. Perhaps you're used to fasting, perhaps you've never fasted before. So as we kick off this month, and even as we encourage you to begin fasting on something this week, as we kick off the week, first week of the year, I want to give you a short little teaching on fasting and a few little tips before the longer teaching on Sunday. So two things for you to be thinking about, two questions. One is, from what will you fast? And the second one is, for how long will you fast? Or what will the fasting look like? So the first one is, from what will you fast? And I like what one author said, and that's that one of the things about Christian fasting is that it tests to see what controls us. So for you, the question is, what potentially controls you? So for a lot of people, of course, fasting can revolve around food. It's so basic to what our body needs each and every day. And so whether it's fasting for one meal uh, each day for an entire week or for the whole month or taking one day out of an entire week, or maybe it's taking a week. If you're able to fast for more than a few days, taking a full week to fast from food over the course of the month. By the way, if you do choose to fast from food for more than a few days, I would encourage you to check with your doctor. So food is obviously an obvious, uh, it's an obvious one for people, but then it could be something like alcohol. Uh, maybe it's fasting for the entire month from alcohol. But beyond food and drink, it could be your smartphone. It could be social media. Um, it could be fasting from staying up late and sleeping in so that you can rise earlier to spend time with the Lord. So it could be that with uh, social media, it's either fasting from your smartphone for an entire day each week or for an entire week if you don't need it for work. Or it could be from Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. You fast for an entire day each week or for a full week or, oh my gosh, a full month. For some of us, that could be a really good thing. So whatever it is, whether it's food or drink or technology, entertainment, could be Netflix. The point is, church, that it's something that would refocus our attention back on God and actually free up time and energy to be focusing on prayer. So as we go into this month of prayer, focus as a church on what it means to be praying as a body. Let's also be thinking about this spiritual discipline of fasting and how as a church doing this together, it will bolster our prayer life. It'll help us to grow as individuals. And I think we're going to see God do amazing things through this initiative. So consider fasting. If you need more time to think about it, if you don't understand much about it, feel free to wait until the sermon on Sunday. But if you want to get kicked off right now this week, hopefully this has been helpful for you. If you have questions, do feel free to reach out. Love you, church.